I was honoured to be asked to be on the judging panel of the Young Farmers Club's Supporter of the Year. And um, yeah, fantastic to see so many amazing nominations. Uh, uh, really heartwarming to see them all. Um, we've shortlisted a few um, and, a, and a couple of them stood out. Well, they all stood out, but some stood out even more. And two of the shortlisted was Sarah Bolton from Clitheroe Young Farmers for the work she did with um, ATVs um, and Stonewall in for Young Farmers and you know getting this all for nothing for these people, hedge laying as well. And Sharon Jones from Llangollan, uh, 45 years of service in making sure that these Young Farmers clubs carry on. Absolutely amazing. And of course, we have to have a runner-up, and the runner-up was Cornish Mutual. And um, we know it's a private company, but they have given so much money and time and effort to the young farmers down in Cornwall. It's truly amazing. And we need this private investment to make sure that these clubs get an opportunity to do things because they are the future of agriculture but the winner was chosen by every single one of us as judges she shone like a beacon and it was truly an honor to read what she's done and uh, the winner is Jill Percy from Clun Valley Young Farmers in Devon uh, gave us all goosebumps when we read uh, truly an inspiration for the next generation of young farmers and dedication uh, for everyone. Um, just totally, totally amazing to read that, what she's done and what she's doing. And um, Jill had had a loss in the family and which is very, very sad and it didn't stop her. She pushed forward and she's doing more for the Young Farmers Clubs than ever. And it is truly an inspiration. So can I say from the bottom of my heart, congratulations to Jill Percy for an amazing job and for winning the Young Farmers Supporter of the Year. So here we are with the winner of YSP Supporter of the Year, Jill Percy from Devon. Um, so I hope you're well, Jill. Let's kick off with the first question. How does it feel to be um, the winner of this award? Um, I'm totally shocked, very humbled, and completely touched that um, um, and uh, I feel very, very, very honoured. Very, very honoured. Yeah. Oh, I mean, you've clearly dedicated a great deal of your life to YFC as a member, as a trainer, a supporter. Um, if it's not too personal a question, how many years have you dedicated to YFC? Oh. Um, really, what, what drives you to keep going and uh, stay involved? Um, sorry, I joined Young Farmers, obviously, when I was just a, a teenager, probably about 17, I think, um, and joined a club called Newton St. Sires in, in Devon. Um, but 42 years ago, I married into Calm Valley. My husband, Richard, was a county chairman as well. And I... I was just, uh, yeah, 42 years I've been linked with Calm Valley. Um, it's just been... You know, I had so much out of Young Farmers uh, myself and through competition. I travelled to New Zealand. I did had so many opportunities and to be able to give some of this back um, and just to, just to see what the young direction really. And it gives me so much pleasure and so much joy to see these young people succeed really. And uh, yeah, it just, uh, it, it's been my life for a long time and a huge part of our life. And, uh, you know, I, I really can't see a life without young farmers, really. But, um, yeah. I hope there never will be a life without it's, young it's farmers. It's our annual meeting. Sorry? I hope, that, I hope there will never be a life without young farmers. Um, it's, it's no, no, no. 
We're last week, I, I was hugely honoured last week to actually get elected as president. And uh, I've come through young farmers always thinking that presidents are very long long in the turf thing very onerous um and uh and now it's me and i feel very um yeah not quite old enough to be a president but obviously i am so <laughs> uh, well, but that, again that's another... getting younger I, I wouldn't worry about it <laughs> good that makes, me feel, that makes me feel better <laughs> yeah so. um i think one of the things that really shone through um, in all the nominations we had for yourself was um your well, your long list of having of people who have benefited from your training for public speaking competition. Um, what? Why are you so passionate about um, that competition in particular? Um, I, th I just think speaking, you know, and communication. And, and it just opens so many doors for them for the future. And the joy that I get from having a really young person you know and sometimes we're talking about 10 11 year olds and who absolutely cannot say boo to a goose and are so quiet when they first come to a first training practice and then seeing them develop as we have done you know on more than one occasion and just seeing how they can achieve what they can achieve and how they blossom um it just gives me personally so much joy and i know it does them so much good for their future really and i just love it and this particularly the young competitions i just absolutely love it you know no, i mean they've always been my favorite as well the the lives i suppose even it's not about the winning it's about what they learn doing it um yeah, yeah. obviously um if we're okay to talk about this you've suffered great tragedy in the past um losing your daughter um but you have set up the laura percy trust fund um could you tell us a little bit more about that um if you're comfortable doing so yeah yeah well really very suddenly my daughter laura um died from sudden adult death syndrome when she was just four days short of her 20th birthday um literally had done a, a charity run played hockey done everything very fit and healthy young father it's like an adult cot death really and you know obviously hit us completely for, for six and um and i i honestly have to say that if it hadn't been for young farmers i don't think we my husband and i would have and the rest of my family would have come through it as we did the young farmers you know i mean it's it's still huge it's 13 you know it, it's 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 huge and uh it takes a huge amount to even go on with life afterwards but young farmers were there for us and um gave us so much at that time and raised money for us um it started um a young farmer that in our club always had a passion to be an auction said to him one day follow your dream follow your dream and do what you want to do and uh, the week she died they were having a dispersal sale and um, they decided that they would auction a calf and um, this young lad who is now uh, one of our club leaders um, just took the auction And an auction they start a charity of our choice really and that together with our funeral collection um, my husband just said we'll do something for training that's what laura was interested in we'll do something for training so over the next year um, our county organizer at the time nick creasy was really helpful and uh, we set up the laura percy trust and and basic skills that to be honest do not get taught a lot throughout the colleges anymore um, and we find you know we do a lot of practical skills and it may be agriculture it may be domestic type skills as well we've set up a really really um, successful series of veterinary courses how to be a better 
the farm and um, a better herds person and um, there are a series of courses that are hugely popular every year we do foot trimming but also we do other courses you know obviously when things are normal um, things like cake icing dressmaking a lot of things that that um, people just don't get taught anymore at, at school to be honest and um, and to do we we've sort of set up and do um, we obviously get a lot of um, feedback through young farmers it's not restricted specifically for young farmers but we have based it around young farmers age um, more or less um, to, just to sort of have a cut off we primarily train in, in Devon and Somerset it was a way of bringing some good out of an awful tragedy really and uh, and you know we hope that through it we can help young people achieve something in their life and learn learn some practical skills and, and better themselves really and uh, yeah we, we, we're not a big charity um, um, we don't do 200 um, um, you know um, and do as much as we can really in normal times so yeah it's um it's been a hard one but uh, you know young farmers have been there for us and hopefully we're giving something back to them you know right. um so one final question obviously everyone has said um how much you've supported them improved their confidence um, and encourage them to um, do whatever they want to do and like challenge themselves um i mean when you sit back like how proud are you of everything you've achieved um with YSD. I think you know just to have been involved with an organization as great as Young Farmers that offers so much I think you know you can't help but be proud to be involved with it really and um I always remember saying in an interview when I went anything you want to achieve in life you can achieve it through Young Farmers and I think you know the opportunities are just so great in young farmers and the more that we can encourage young people to take every opportunity that comes because you don't know what's around the corner you know and uh, and 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 if you can just not allowing any member to say no and uh, so when we ask if anybody wants to do speaking or or anything you don't ask if they want to do it you just get them to come along and chivvy them into it and a bit of a you know girl push behind really and so yeah no no is not an option let's have a go and see how we get on and you never know that's what i try and i try and do to so many young people um yeah it's you know it's it's to say what is the proudest moment i've had so many i've been so lucky really um I had one one member um, who had extreme literacy problems and, and I didn't write cards um, so we drew pictures on cards because that's the way we could understand he could understand you know instead of asking people you know please put your hands together and join me you know in a round of applause or whatever we just drew two hands clapping because then he could say what he needed to say but he couldn't you know took part in our local group round the um you know the, the just the pleasure of seeing him be able to do that was just just huge actually and uh, you know really we, you know really just gave me such a buzz really so so, oh. so many i can't really name one but um that's a lovely sentiment though that you yeah, can't yeah, not... take everyone everyone is able to do it um with the right yeah. um yeah it's been very very deserving of this award um massive congratulations it's been absolutely lovely speaking to you <laughs> you are I mean, people like you are the heart and soul of YFC um, and the reason it's such a success up in the country. Um, so just firstly, thank you for everything you've done. Um, you're more than deserving of this. Um, and your heartfelt congratulations.